2020 had a real coup last week, a story about the down-on-his-luck actor who played Buckwheat in the old Our Gang comedies. Trouble is, the real Buckwheat died 10 years ago. Leonard Malton joins us now with some 2020 hindsight. Leonard. Well, John, back in 1977, Richard Bann and I wrote a book about our gang and the Little Rascals in which we identified every member of this famous group and provided biographies. But that hasn't stopped a number of people over the years from claiming they were members of the original gang and getting their stories into print or on the air. What happened on Friday night wasn't new. It was just the latest incident of a TV show getting snookered. We found him at Smitty's supermarket, where he's the most popular bagger for miles around. Hello there, how y'all doing? Huh? That's Hugh Downs, telling us what's happened to Buckwheat. According to this story, he's bagging groceries in Tempe, Arizona, and his name is William English. Some years ago, Ebony Magazine printed this profile of another man claiming to be Buckwheat. He got a lot of press clippings and television shots at the time. And this man also made the local paper saying he was the beloved Buckwheat. Uh-uh. The character who's known and loved by millions was played for 11 years by one person alone, Billy Thomas. How do we know? Simple. Here's part of his contract with the Hal Roach studio, made out to him and his parents. Here's what he looked and sounded like in the 70s in an interview with documentary filmmaker Bob Lang. We had a lot of fun together. Like a family. Just like a family, right. Mm -hmm. And you played together, and you laughed together. School together, and played together, right. Mm -hmm. He even appeared once on The Tomorrow Show with Tom Snyder. And unlike the imposters, the older Bill Thomas looks and even sounds like the young Buckwheat. He ought to. He's the real McCoy. So having this man pass himself off as Buckwheat is not only absurd, it's hurtful to the real Buckwheat's son, who was watching Friday night. I figured that uh, it had ended with uh, uh, the past imposters and I thought that I had enough exposure out there to know that uh, my father was deceased by 10 years. Here's the obituary that appeared a decade ago marking the death of Bill Buckwheat Thomas. And here's Bill English still making his claim. Because it's just garbage coming out. Isn't that true? But I'm not going to fight it, man. Yeah, let it go. Let it go indeed. Let it go to the truth. The truth is Bill Thomas was buckwheat. No one else. There's a guy in Augusta, Georgia, who's still claiming he's buckwheat. There are imposters out there saying they're Darla and Spanky and Freckles and Froggy. They're all phonies. Now, 2020, all you can say is anyone can make a mistake, but they didn't seem to investigate this story at all. It's so simple to check. Spanky McFarland's still alive. A lot of the other our gang kids are alive, and they know that Bill Thomas was buckwheat. Embarrassing. Yeah, that's a good I word for I should say it. so. <laughs> Thanks, Leonard. You can count on...